There are many situations where it can be useful to create database diagrams to provide a better understanding of an existing database or to aid the planning of new databases. IB Expert provides functions to create database diagrams from existing databases or to create and update databases based on models. Here we've created a demo database with just three tables. We will now use this database to generate a diagram. Go to the Tools menu and then click on the menu item Database Designer. The menu item Designer offers a number of options. The option Reverse Engineer can be used to generate a diagram based on an existing database or to update an existing diagram. Generate Script allows you to convert the model or diagram into a database and the diagrams can be saved and loaded, exported as an image file and printed. Areas can be used to select the various database areas, allowing focus on individual areas. Finally, the notation can be altered using model options. I click on Reverse Engineer to generate a diagram of my existing database, the demo database. Here, there are two options. I can either create a new diagram or update the existing one. As my existing chart is empty, this option makes no difference here. After pressing Start, IP Expert automatically creates the database model. The various entities can be selected and moved and the size adjusted. Having selected an entity, I can, at the top here, alter the font, font size and font style, for example, to bold type. By double clicking on the background, I can change the notation under Model Options. For example, I would like to have the primary and foreign keys displayed in the entities. Using links, I can also change the notation of the links and also automatically trace links to achieve an angular display. Now I'm going to add a table depicting a relationship between employee and project. I click the toolbar button Table and then click on my diagram. This table can now be customised. By double clicking, I can modify attributes. For example, the name to Employee Project. In addition, the table type can be specified, for example, persistent, temporary or external. Fields can be added under columns, for example, a primary key with the name ID, type begint. I would also like to add two relations. There are two ways to do this, either manually or simply and quickly using the toolbar button. I'd first like to show you using the toolbar button reference. Once you have clicked this, you can now hover the mouse over the table, then hold down the left mouse button and drag to the reference or reference field. The database designer now automatically inserts a field containing the foreign key. I'll do the same for project ID. That's how quick it is to add two foreign keys. Now I would like to add another field using the append column toolbar button. I'll call this hours for the number of hours, type numeric, length 10, scale 2 and not null. Here I can also enlarge my table object. To position two or more entities more precisely, IB Expert offers on the right side here a toolbar which you can use to adjust the size and positions of multiple objects. First select the reference object and then the objects to be adjusted. Clicking the button, a line writes, I now, for example, can adjust the right position. The size can also be customised, etc. Now I'm going to add another table with a reference to department. Double click to change the name to location, type persistent. I add an ID as the primary key, type big int, and location name as varchar length 20. Now, I'll add a reference from department to location using the manual method. Under department, I add another column. I call this location ID type big int. To add the foreign key manually, I go to keys and click add key. I call this FK location one type foreign key. This includes the field location ID referenced to the location table where it references the field ID. Finally, I can specify the update and delete rule that I wish to use. In this case, cascade. 
Now I'll save the diagram as an image. I go to Designer and then Export and save the file on the desktop as dbmodel.emf. Alternatively, the file can also be saved as a bitmap. This file can now be opened using a standard graphics program such as Paint and, for example, be sent as an email. The diagram can also be printed. Now I would like to update my demo database based on this diagram. So I go to Designer and Generate Script. There are a number of options. Either a completely new database can be created or an existing database can be updated or a difference script can be created focusing on specific fields and objects. In this case, I do not want to create a completely new database, but rather upgrade my existing database. Here, you can also specify whether as a file, to the clipboard, or directly in the IB Expert script executive. The script is then created upon clicking Run. This includes the two tables that I have created along with my references and primary key. By clicking the checkbox, Use Current Connection, this script can now be run directly on my demo database, and the result is my modified database, which has been created using the Database Designer. You can find out more about the IB Expert Database Designer in the IB Expert online documentation.